Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Hi, the whole people. Today we are playing Thoroa Chaos, we are playing as the Burning Legion. And I'm thinking about the foundation to go for. I'm thinking about Infernals. I already played Shivaras recently. Yo, Kostak, what's up? GG. Yo, what's up? Yo, thanks so much for the nine months. I really appreciate it. GG. So I'm thinking about, like, you know, something funny, something, you know, unique. Something like hero items. I like hero items. And I, it's like, I never played hero items, and now, like, you know, I'm picking it up, right? It's It sounds fun. Right? I feel like it sounds fun. To be honest, I feel like I'm completely pointless on anything but Kazakh and Tachondrius, but regardless, you know, like, it's something I like. Archimon, like, even why? Because Kazakh has a soul burn, it's very, very strong. One of the strongest spells in the game. Uh, reduces spell damage and increases the hit points. It's like, it's decent. Also, it's another level to Wild Blood. I don't play it too much. I'm gonna play it next time. Or of Corruption. It's a re armor reduction for units. It's an anti armor. I play against Fell Orc. Might be good, but yeah, I know. I, 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 I wanna play hero items. Screw it. Just go Archimond. Yeah, but like, Kazakh is already good. Like, why would you switch it to Archimond? Like Archimond, I feel like Archimond is even like slightly weaker than uh, Kazakh. Well, it's situational, but like, I know, yeah. Regardless, we have uh, Deathlord on the Felorx. He is on top. We have Test playing on Trolls. He is on the bottom. Um, somehow Test actually is putting up a fight. And I have no idea how, but yeah, he is. You know what, I'm gonna go mid. I feel like I can contest. Um, one of his... Yeah, so, okay, Test is playing the Mana Burn Aura. It is a global Mana League Aura, which also protects his buildings. It's like a bubble. The bubble on his buildings that protects him from um, the nukes and spell damage on his buildings. And he also can silence... Uh, everyone's buildings and casters. Uh, I mean, he can cast a global silence on everything, including buildings. Once in a while. It's pretty good. <clears throat> it's overall good foundation. It doesn't help you in fights too much, but I feel like it helps you against the ultimate weapons, one. Two, it... It also... helps you push. Because you can silence enemies' buildings. So that's pretty good. Uh, Death Lord already has a caster upgrade. Oh, he's playing Laughing School Maniac. Okay, we know his foundation. <coughs> uh, Laughing School Maniac gives you extra upgrade on uh, multi shot, which is pretty good. I, yeah, my bad. I did. Yeah, I already did upgrade the middle. I was trying... Yeah. I forgot which barrack did upgrade. Uh, and Mr. Hayes, it's not a guy from the Scream. S scream. Stream. Um, I was reading this message. Uh, he went for the source of magic. So he has less cooldown on spells. He can also upgrade his spells. Which is uh, pretty good, yeah. It's pretty, pretty good. So I would say the weakest foundation, in my opinion, probably is by test, like early game. But he, it's very good, like late game. Yeah, if he survives, like you know, till late game, he he doesn't have to worry about ultimate weapons. He doesn't have to worry about um, I know, actually, it's only ultimate weapons, right? It's not anything else, really. What's up, yo? Yo, Shadow Leads. What's up, man? Yes, you come back. Be safe. <laughs> What's up, man? Yo, thanks so much for the 70 months. And uh, thank you for the kind words. Yeah, I came back. Um, I feel like I'm safe. At least that's what I think. Yeah, thanks so much. 
I like throw source magic, it gives OP turrets. To be honest, yeah, I feel like I never really go for turrets, usually. Um, as a part of the source of magic, you can also upgrade your uh, building damage. And I'm someone who do never does it, to be honest, that much. And I kind of regret it, yeah. Kind of regret also going for the caster damage immediately. I know if it's that that good, but yeah, it's pretty decent. Yeah, we, we had a hype train. I still don't understand how hi hype train works. Because I feel like like the interval between the subs was pretty g pretty big right now. For it to still count into the hyper train, but whatever. Thanks so much. I feel like demons are like very versatile. You know what I mean? Like you can play whatever whatever the F you want as a demon. Um somehow Tess has no upgrades on units at all. <laughs> while on top Deathlord has three free upgrades. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing. Did he even upgrade the barrack to tier 2 on any other lane but mine? <laughs> like how does he have free free upgrades already? Like I have one, one zero and one caster, and that's about that. And then there is this guy, you know. <laughs> yeah, I'm forced to buy more units. And my units are extra expensive. Uh, Legion has plus thirty percent buy cost. So yeah, I spent you know quite a, quite a bit. I'm buying units right now. But like, you can't tell me it wasn't worth it. Like, you you see yourself, right? I'm like, I'm suffering right now. I'm trying not to over damage. My towers have chaos damage of a big, very big value. So it's very easy for me to deal too, too much damage. More than it's needed to kill a unit, so, yeah. Kind of paranoid now. If he will summon uh, Infernals, like this barrack might fall. So I'm, I'm actually quite, quite, quite paranoid about it, yeah. And uh, you know what, I might... Because of that... Take it early. I thought about tier 3 barrack, but it doesn't make sense with the hero items, right? So I'm like, okay. Yeah, I can go tier 3 barrack, but then he has double crossbows. Now, if, if he will push me, I will use defensive spell and uh, just summon a hero, right? So, I feel like that should be better. That should be better. Mm. Yeah, another problem is that I don't think that right now, if I were to send a hero anywhere, like on mid, I think it's gonna over push. Everyone is still tier 1 barrack mid. <laughs> Which makes absolutely no sense. But I guess that's how it is. Oh, finally, Deathlord is uh, tier 2 barrack mid. God damn it. Yeah, I would send a hero if I knew. I mean, he might still over push because it's only one tier 2 barrack plus, you know, two tier 1s. There's not too, too, too much there going on. Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking. Should I, should I not? Yeah, I need, I need other people to contest as well. I feel like otherwise it's pointless. And no one, no one really wants to. Uh, total gold we have the most. Top 2 is by Haze. And then there is Death Lord and Test. So I feel like we are doing fine. Yeah, we are doing pretty fine. I'm just 
waiting and waiting and waiting for this like for something to change here so i can send a hero but i feel like they are not doing that okay fuck it i'm gonna go for what am i gonna go for one low in phase shift um he has a bit of buffs let's go devour magic low one i yeah, just keep on making upgrades there is nothing to dispel much from troll but there is a bit to dispel from the fell orc so that's pretty good okay death lord samus infernos <coughs> Research wise, everyone is about the same except for Haze. Haze summoned a hero on mid. I'm very cute. Uh, no, it's not on mid. I feel like it's somewhere else, yeah, but I have no idea where. So. What's up, Sloba? What's up, what's up? Hmm. The neutral buildings are pretty cool. Like, there is a lumber mill. There is a fountain of mana. So, these ones are pretty decent. It's the problem that it's very, very far away, but. You know. I don't understand what's going on on mid now. Like, is there. Is a hero of purple or not? <laughs> he summoned already two heroes. I have no clue where did he summon them. At all. And I wanna use my defensive spell right now. But the question like, will they arrive in time or not? Yep, they will. I bought so many units, of course I will. <clears throat> okay, okay, now, yeah, now is the time to summon a uh, uh, hero mid. God, this Inferno still didn't die. It's so stupid. It's <laughs> so stupid I have still to take damage on my, on my barrack. And I wanna summon my hero already now. This is pushing me even with like 1 1 upgrades. He has two caster upgrades though, but yeah. Um, okay, we're finally gonna go armor and summon Dreadlord on me. Okay, and now we need Wild of Blood. Oh, it's a tier 3 barrack by uh, Deathlord. Okay. Um, we're gonna summon Pit Lord against that, yeah. I feel like. <clears throat> okay, we have six one to cast upgrades. Just a little bit of tower upgrades, but not too too much. <laughs> Playing weird. Yeah, like very weird. I, I don't understand, for example, why Death Lord didn't upgrade his barrack with the Infernos. I feel like that would have been deadly, if anything. I, I don't know why no one can test it middle up until now. I only now can summon a hero and not over push ridiculously. Like you see, I'm already stacking units and I might actually over push, but yeah. Before that, it was even. Worse, it would have been worse. Oh, I should mute my mic. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm so sick. Give me a second. ASMR, I'm sorry. Blow into my ear host, daddy. Dude. Don't be weird, alright? Don't be weird, please. Yo, what's up? Yo, ice weather. 
<clears throat> Yo, what's up, what's up, man? Thanks so much for the seven months. I really appreciate it. Yo, what's up? Yeah, okay, still here to barrack. Uh, Death Lord is making a turn around. Pretty good. Nice. Glad to hear, man. How is your uh, map editing going? Changing terrain and OTA? I hope it's uh, Outland uh, base of uh, Horde. Uh, yeah, that, that, that one kind of needs it, I feel like. Just, at least just a smidge. It's too narrow. It's far, it's far, far too narrow. Well, dropping infernos from the Black Temple to to nuke the main base, I feel like is is a good strategy. Yeah. Mm, I really hope that Magdalene is going to hold. Yeah. You summon a hero into my Magdalene, or. I don't know. Yeah, regardless. The Condrix is feeling very comfy. He has literally full HP. Oh, maybe he summoned here on me. Are you sure that was a good idea? Yeah. I can bet all my money that my Tachondrius is going to win against this uh, Gromosh Hellscream. It's level 8 hero. <laughs> what do you expect? Uh, Magdaritan apparently can summon... Infernos, something that I actually had no idea about, but here we are, here we are. I need at least one mercenary upgrade for the immolation on buildings. It's pretty good. Belt of strength? Hell no, nah, my friend. Your agility, right? Yeah, he's agility. Uh, sell item. Hmm. I don't know how much I want to summon against uh, Test right now. Yeah, this is pain. I'm gonna lose a lot of HP here. Haze lost the upper barrack. That's kind of BG. Uh, Magdalene is actually dying. I hope it's not the reality I have to face, to be honest, because I don't want to upgrade the barrack yet. And uh, little do you know, actually, yeah, I'm gonna lose the middle barrack. I mean, not middle barrack, but uh, the middle. Uh, Haze lost the upper barrack, so now Death Lord upgraded me to tier 3, and yeah, so it's a tier 3 barrack against my tier 1, and he somehow leveled up to level 6. How is it even possible? <laughs> I, th I thought I was doing fine, but... Yeah. I guess I'm not. I bought 20 units. That's pretty bad. Like I said, my units are very, very expensive. So, ideally, I don't want to buy them, like, ever. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, tier 3 barrack meet, and then we can probably beat him up there. Hopefully. Um, dimensional portal. Am I missing some tower upgrades or not? Fear or is not the worst. <laughs> nah, I feel like I need top tier to be tier 3 right now. Oh, he is overpushing. <laughs> he overpushed a little bit. The problem is that my hero got pulled. Yeah. Uh, summon Gul'dan. Alright. He's lost their bottom barrack. <laughs> Poor guy. 
I guess my viewers know how to play too 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 well. I know. <laughs> he lost both his top and the bottom. So I kinda expect like right now for him to be top like you know uh tier four middle barrack. Likely. But I don't know. Try first tag, tier 3 and reshore. It's a resurrect, he meant. I think resurrect is that much worth it. Like tier 2 with blizzard is like good enough already. You don't you don't really need it. You don't really need resurrection, in my opinion. But the Conjurus is actually dying. He has been sandwiched between. Yeah, between Gromosh and uh, Trolls. Fear Aura is great. This body doesn't deal damage. It doesn't do you any justice. It reduces the damage from your enemies. And like... <clears throat> Sometimes it, it will not even reach like range units because they are, they have like 600 range, right? And this one only has 600 range on the max level, so it's kind of me because of it. Oh yeah, tier four barrack on me. Damn, dude. Yeah, he went uh, tier three barrack on me. I can't, I can't reach for his hero. He's just a little bit too far away. <laughs> Capo summon billion heroes. Come on, I can't reach Gul'dan. Really? Keep on attacking the tower. Okay, now I can reach him. Yeah, I lost a lot of HP on this tower because of that. It's quite a BG. Okay, now I can aggro on my main. Uh, mental of intelligence. Motherfucker. Why do they keep on getting these wacky items? This guy got Bolt of Strength twice. <laughs> this one is trying to get intelligence. And the reason why the items are bad... It's not only because of the... Like it doesn't match their primary stat, but usually these items are only used to combine tier 3 items into tier 4. And if you hold them, like without, you know, that concern, you're just gonna cluster your inventory a lot. Like you will not be able to combine items because they're taking slots away from you. So it's pretty bad. I didn't really understand this concept. But... Yeah. I got into it. I got into it. It's like, I feel like Iron, like aka Ace, long, long time ago, like, explained to me that, yeah, all the pros, you know, sell these stat items. And only until, like, I started playing hero items myself, I figured it out myself. Like, why? Why is it not good? Pedro has a dream to be a smart boy. I guess. Hmm. Okay, yeah, so we have two vial of blood, one, one face shift, one devour magic, and that's it. Um. Thinking about sending Kazakh meat, to be honest, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, total gold wise, we have the same as Death Lord, literally the same. 
<clears throat> Mason Kazak on top, yeah. At least try to. It's a tier for Barak, right? Nah, I should have sent Kazak on meat. Yeah, I should have sent Kazak on meat, I think. Yeah, checking items so they don't get stuck if they are stat items, if they were to get such. Uh, Pitlord, by the looks of it, is getting a Brawler. Which is pretty damn good, yeah. It's pretty damn good. We got Xerox on mid. I mean, on top. That is not good. That is not good at all. Hmm. Uh, Deathlo does have even mana for smite. So I guess we could respond with Kazak ourselves. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna have gold enough in time. <coughs> uh, bottom is kinda asking for a hero too, so it's like. Yeah, I don't really know what to do. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, Brand Height is his pain. <coughs> yeah, it's a pain in the butt. Well, more like pain in the throat, but it's also pain in the butt, yeah. Um... I feel like he will not have enough for smite in time. I really hope so. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be a close call. I feel like it's a tier 3 caster upgrade now. Yeah, I really, need, I really, really need to get it. Mm, don't feel like I need right now anything else but that. Are you sure about that, boy? Are you sure you wanna smite my super unit right now? When I already have defeated your... Xerox. The thing is, like, if he smited, like, you know, when I summoned it instantly, that would have had an impact. But now, eh, it didn't do much, right? I feel like it didn't do too much, so. <clears throat> I kind of want to summon it again, but I'm not entirely sure. I will be pushing test if I do it. I can't just smash his barrack for now. Yeah, he has tier 4 for quite some time on me, so... Yeah. Um, okay, we have 7-6. Seven, We're gonna go 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, we also have 550 mana.
Okay, it's not a hero on mid, so it's hero on the left side, I assume. Uh, total gold. Mm, Death, Lord has the mo Death Lord has the most, I have top 2, and Tess has top 3. I thought you were dead. No, I wasn't dead. <laughs> oh, he summoned on it on me. Yeah, it's actually Gromish Hell Scream on me. Okay. <laughs> sure, man. Um, can I summon him Kazakh or not? That's the question. If I can, then that's gonna be great. <laughs> but I know if I, I'm gonna be able to afford it in time. It's gonna come me like pretty much soon. I feel like yeah, I feel like I'm gonna be able to afford it. My top is uh, quite damaged. <coughs> mm. Okay, we try to redirect him. Yeah, you kinda literally yourself gave me an opportunity to summon Kazakh in a safe way. <laughs> I know what you what you're thinking about. Our town is under attack. Mm, okay, hero. Fancy gloves. Plus five percent attack rate and plus fifteen damage. Mm, that's pretty good. Which level of multi-shot is it? It doesn't tell you. Yeah, but I, I guess like it's maxed out. It would make sense for it to be maxed out, so... Yeah. Oh yeah, we need Soul Echo. Yeah, we need to now upgrade Soul Echo to the max. It's a pretty good upgrade. Uh, when heroes die, they deal a lot of damage and stun everything, so... Uh, basically, like, kinda... Unless your units take buildings if you hero die. Um, okay, I'm not level 4. And then we're gonna go for the building damage. <coughs> High low. Do you have Mine Goblin? What is a Mine Goblin? Rage Pyre needs levels. Defensive Tachondrius. Oh yeah, Defensive Tachondrius. Yeah, I forgot. You don't wanna summon Tachondrius defensively because he turns into bad sand. <laughs> Doesn't do shit, I forgot. <laughs> um, I don't want to summon Rage Pyre. <laughs> Not only that hero sucks, but... Yeah, like everyone is playing very aggressively against me right now, right? So I'm like, I don't want to use it. Like, that much. Oof. Okay, punch. 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 Jubie. Jubie low one. <coughs> uh, minus the towers, I guess. Okay. Honestly, I could have used smite right now. Just, yeah. I feel like I should have used smite. I'm pretty sure. So I can use smite also against test. Against us, ultimate weapons don't have any usage otherwise. <coughs> no, I, did, I didn't know this one, yeah. I know, like, both of these nuts. I know, like, you know, uh... Sigma Ligma, but, like... Mind Goblin. <laughs> like, dude, what the fuck is that? Um... Should I 
Should have summoned a hero, honestly. I know what I'm doing, but whatever. It's fine, I guess. Eh. It's whatever. Tears for Barrack is, I think, way better solution, like, long term. Even if you have hero items. Um, okay, Tess has the requirements for Smite. If he needs to use it. I hope that Kazakh is not stupid and he is gonna go up. That's my only concern. This, this guy like might not go top after killing uh, Xerox. It's not gonna be the worst, the worst, but yeah. It's like me. I feel like he's gonna go top. Yeah, he might. He must go top. Yeah, he's going top. Never mind. He is getting stuck. He is really getting stuck. Oh boy, he's... <laughs> okay, he's fine. <laughs> yeah, he's he's very fat. And he was refusing to go. But yeah, now he's going, he's going, he's going. Um, okay, let's get uh, Fear Aura. So we have Vile Blood Low 3. We have uh, Fear Aura. Uh, feedback is not the worst. Oh, Sol Echo, yeah, I forgot. I need to upgrade Sol Echo. That is true. Okay, so far so good. Decent items for uh, Kazakh. They don't combine into shit, but, you know. Sooner or later, it shall be combined into something. Have a big impact on a push or defense. Didn't have health or more to the whole wave and sunning it. But it's more like at least hero will deal damage with his death. And I like the idea of Soleco. It only procs on hero death, so it's like you invest gold to the upgrade and it only works when you like 1k gold. You lose the 1k gold to some hero. Uh, it's very effective. So I feel like Soleco is very effective uh, on. At like enemy's base, basically. You know what I mean? So like, if you have like beaten heroes at enemy's base, how do like how does he kill your heroes? Well, he is most likely is going to try and use uh, units, right? So yeah, I feel like it's pretty good. I feel like it's uh, pretty good, you know, for the just to remove the enemy's uh, army. <clears throat> mm, I thought right now smiting the hero, but... Tess is pretty much shielding, right? So I, I don't know if I should. Yeah, I feel like I'm gonna give it to Test. If I will smite right now. So I don't wanna smite too much. <clears throat> mm. Okay, let's go more damage upgrades. Let's get a few roll level 2. Yeah, we lost the fight against Xerox. Which is fine for now. Uh, Spike also died. Yeah, you know what? Death Lord, Death Lord defend pre well. Oh, there was Ghoul then, that's why. <laughs> Damn, he actually chopped his left barrack on death. Yeah, that's pretty spooky scary. Spooky scary. Spike on the middle. Okay. Mm, 
Yeah, I'm gonna summon Pitlo. I don't know if he's gonna hold this or not, but I hope so. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of questioning my decision. <laughs> Gul'dan is still solo burning. He might die. Yeah, he might die from this. You smite. Alright. Ouchie, ouchie. Yeah, this was uh, a bit dangerous. Wait, Tesk has 4 to upgrades on units. On melee units. Boots of Agility. Like, why? <laughs> why do you have Boots of Agility? Yeah, my items suck. Why do you summon Gul'dan right now on the middle? This Mayo Deathlord's base looks quite empty. <laughs> like there is literally nothing in it. There is only one tower, two barracks and one main building. Yeah, it's a quite, quite... desolated place. Now this can nuke the main building. I thought so too, so I checked his upgrades and they are not they're not good. <clears throat> Should I summon Kazakh? Not Kazakh, uh... Pitlord. I don't know if I am. Maybe. 67k gold. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Ah, shit, he, his items didn't combine. Yeah, they will not combine. Uh, sell... A, okay, sell that. Are you trying to defend without using the super unit? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how smart it is. Well, to be honest, I have no idea whether I'm gonna actually deal damage or not right now. I hope I will. But yeah, Kazakh is kinda dying. How did he get... How did he get puts of agility there? Hmm. 
I have 5k gold actually right now I think I got double Kazakh so if he even if he will smite me right now I can summon him again uh, test still doesn't have upgrades to nuke my main building which is uh, you know nukeable as of right now hmm I kind of just like that I didn't, yeah, summon Rage Pyre, actually. At least once. At least once. Oh, fuck. I forgot that I can't reaggro on my main. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, let's reaggro on my main building. Isn't a smart idea. Uh. Yeah, do you guys get good items? Mental of intelligence. Okay. This game is trolling me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna keep it actually. Yeah, he has two stat items, so as soon as he gets Mount of Intelligence, it's, gonna, it's going to combine. But yeah, they are literally trolling me. Okay, we, we, can, we can finally level up our... Uh, um, rage Fire. Hopefully. Yeah, so unlucky with the items. I didn't get a single tier 3 item. Not a single one. They're all like, what, what the fuck is that? What is that? Like, they're almost level, like, 20 plus heroes, all of them, right? Like, level 20 to Kondrus, level 20 to Kazakh. <coughs> None of them. None of them have <laughs> None of them have the items I want them to have. So bad. Do you check the barrack repairs? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. I, I do it automatically. Oh dear, don't die, you stupid idiota. Come on. No, don't die. Don't die. Do not die. Do not die. Do not die. <clears throat> Nine upgrades on melee damage and two upgrades. You went for the mana shield? Kek. Dude. Really? Like, really? <laughs> he were meant to shoot and didn't save his towers. Yeah, they go spike. Yeah, Rage Pyre actually survived till low 8. That's pretty good. Uh, do we have Solar Echo low 3? Yes. Okay, good. Watch this. Yeah, they're gonna blow up one by one. BAM! See, it's even stuns a super unit. That's why it's like extra good. Like, you know, you, you're gonna be defeated regardless. <coughs> 
but yeah this you know extra like blow up on death yeah he has like no units see and he's not protecting his buildings right now they're being destroyed <coughs> <coughs> So I feel like I feel like it has like you know its own value. So yeah. Honestly, why can't I just do this? I don't know. Yeah, he got all of power. Yeah, so it's like all three stat items combined. But now he cannot combine any of these. So I need to sell two items. make it work okay this guy is fine this one is not fine but I can't I can't remove it it's the first slot uh, let's remove uh, the godless as well it's kind of questionable I don't I know if I want to do that or not <clears throat> uh, it's whatever mm, we are reaching the level where we have maxed out everything so at this point, yeah, I'm maxing out questionable things. Like super questionable, but uh, quite questionable, yeah. <coughs> okay, his spike is out of his base. So he can't really use it. I'm pretty sure Death Lord has likely cooldown on Xerox. But I'm not entirely, entirely sure. I test lost his fortress. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know the heroes are going like completely opposite directions. <laughs> okay. Um I don't have heroes actually right now, yeah. Except for Spike. Okay, I have an idea. Yeah, that's summon uh, here on bottom. <coughs> uh, so harvest feedback. I actually have no idea. Does he have Kodo Tower on the left side or not? Yeah, I, I have no idea. The one that went middle, right? Was it on the left? Or was it on, on the right? From the right? Yeah, Jupy. Motherfucker, you gonna you gonna now tell me this face this shit? You 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 gonna be the one like you know. But why? I'm not winning, bro. I'm not winning, bro. Stop sending super in to me. Yo. And like proceeds to send me Xerox again. And again. And again. And again. And then sends a hero midway. To kill my rage pyre. Like, okay, bro. Good one. GG. <coughs> Cool game. Yeah, so like uh, helped remove twenty five percent HP on Super Unit and Barrack. Yeah, exactly. Like you know, minor heroes dying lets your Super Unit attack uh, their Super Unit, right? It's a four second stun. Four second stun. I mean, it's not twenty five percent HP, but it blows up all the units around you. Like in the case, uh, people try to defend against your heroes by buying a lot of units from the barracks, you just blow up all the units. So I feel like Solaiko is pretty good. In my opinion. So, yeah. Alright.